mention the uh, plant we're going to tour is uh, North Iowa Produce. This right here is our reception area, the entrance to the office, the manager's office. Um, right here is where we uh, stop the public from coming in for food safety issues. Everybody has to be signed in and nobody can go beyond these points without knowing who they are. This right here is the hallway between our production area and our administrative area. Everything north of this wall is all production. Everything south of this wall is either USDA or administrative. This office here is a small little test lab where we do our E. coli testing and salmonella testing and um, uh, our, our, plant man our plant supervisor pulls up office there. This is our USDA office which is locked at all times if the USDA is not in there themselves. It's just got two desks, one for the AMS and one for the FSIS. Uh, they got their own shower and bathroom in there and they, they keep their files in there. This room here is just an employee shower in case somebody gets uh, awful dirty get in a mess before they need to go home. They can always get themselves cleaned back up. This is the men's locker room. The uh, women's locker room is the same. We have uh, the restrooms are attached to it and everybody has their own lockers to keep their coat and, and um, uh, gear in when they come in here. Everybody has boots that remain here at all times. They don't ever take them home. They don't even leave the building once they come in here with them. This room right here is our employee entrance area, our break room, and the room that we use if we have to have a meeting at any given time. It's the only conference type area we have. Uh, the employees come through this here door, they punch in here in the morning, and they come into this here room, which is our laundry area. We have all our frocks, our, our headgear, our cut gloves, anything the employees may need to don for that day to get their job done is just in here. And also, it's also washed in here to keep us from having to have an outside uh, laundry service. Now we're going to go north of this wall here, which once again is the uh, everything north of this wall is production. The first room we come to is our kill area. The uh, birds are hauled in through the overhead door in a mod with a forklift, and they're, they're set down here on the floor. The uh, two people catch and hold the birds. So they'll carry the birds up here, so they'll stick the birds head first in the cone and hold the bird until the person running the kill knife is there to kill them. One person does nothing but stun them. This knife here will have a knife blade bolted to this. It has a 76 volt charge put to it. So as they go by, they touch the bird with it, it renders the bird unconscious. They then cut the carotid arteries and the bird relaxes and bleeds out before it regains consciousness. When the birds are had their, their cuts done properly, they, it's in about 20 to 25 seconds, they're in full cardiac arrest and it's over. Stunning the birds, um, for one, gives you a more humane way of slaughtering the animal because they're unconscious, and two, it helps the birds bleed out well, so you, you have a nice clean piece of meat, and also it helps release the feathers of the birds. Once the birds are dead, they've killed a full line, they will be placed into a bunny, by the man running the scalder, and he will bring the birds around and do our pick and scald them. The birds will then go into this here scalder. The scalder is 250 gallons, uh, the water is about 140 degrees. This plate here, when it's ready to operate, we lay it flat, we'll throw the birds on top of the plate, all the water's below it. Once they hit the start button, that plate will flip over and it'll run for 40 seconds. We'll just keep washing the birds in that, that hot water to help loosen the feathers. When the birds have been properly scalded, the plate will stop level so the birds are up out of the water and best reaching hot water. And there we throw them into the picker here. This is an automatic picker. The holds probably holds about 60 pounds of birds at a time, so anywhere from 10 birds to 5 birds, depending on how big your poultry is. The bottom of the pecker floor constantly turns. And the birds just fly around the outside edge here and they get rubbed off on these feathers, plus these feathers 
all these fingers will rub all the feathers off as the water comes down the sides here and then it sprays through these nozzles here to rinse the feathers out through the bottom. After the pricker runs for about a minute, the cell right here will, will pop open and the door will push open and these birds will automatically come out and slide into the tray here. Then you'll for the, the operator will close the door, restart it, and then throw in more birds. This place here, we have a man on each side of this here board. These are our pinner and hawkers. They will remove the birds out of that tray. They will cut the hawks off or feed off the birds, throw them off to the side, and they'll tip the bird over and remove the oil gland on the back side of the tail. After that, they spin the bird. They, they split the neck open so the bird's ready to be cropped and they do a quick visual inspection for pin feathers or any defects that they may need to fix at this point. From there they slide the bird through here and it goes through a parasitic acid bath which that shower head will be running. Uh, parasitic acid is an organic product that we use to kill bacteria, it's an antimicrobial. We also have parasitic acid into our pepper unit, our scalding unit, and this here spray nozzle is here spraying parasitic acid at all times on these poultry. Like I say, which again is an organic product that kills salmonella, campylobacter, bacter, and E. coli. This room here is our all-fault cooler. This, this room will hold our, our, our feathers, our feet, our, our entrails, anything that we are not going to use as a product going out of here and wait for the rendering truck to come pick it up. This room is refrigerated so it does not draw flies and it helps control odor.